So are they going to erase the Kang thing? Does Doctor? I don't think Kang was like, working. Honestly, I don't think Kang was not. really working no for one, the MCU. No and it was to get Kang back. Yeah, Who's asking was like, what happened yeah, after look, the last one? Good reason no to let him out. to resolve the Kang story. Dude, Kang yeah. lost to Ant Man. Yep. Yes, he did. <laughs> he lost to Ant Man. <laughs> he lost to everyone he was introduced to. That was the point. You, you introduced right. him, and he got beat by everyone. It's like, so why is he? No, but no, but hear me out. The worst Kang that got exiled, the worst of the worst Kangs, got beat by Ant Man. Yeah, the most evil of them all, the one that could right. actually do something of damage, uh, got got killed by Ant Man, and that was actually a reshoot ordered by Bob Iger because the original ending had Ant Man and the Wasp trapped in the Quantum Zone, uh, Quantum Realm, and Kang released into the main reality but they changed that last minute oh that would have been huh. interesting that's like the end and, of the and, show and his kingdom destroyed by ants yep <laughs> that's his the end kingdom of the was destroyed so they let by Bob ants. Iger rewrite that that would have been interesting it's great. It, i i learned from uh, two very reliable sources that the movie was actually in the canon actually really good until bob Iger came in in november saw it and said this is not the oh way we'd like God. marvel to be ants. so they completely changed to like the last two acts of the movie and rushed it to get what we have and uh yeah um they they had a plan with kang i yeah. i think right now what they're doing is they're kind of loki and kang and, and by that i mean where loki is the setup to build into thanos i think what they're going to try and do now is make kang the setup to build into doom or galactus or something yeah, of that galactus. nature well there are so many loose ends if yeah. you tracked all the loose ends from phase four from the disney plus shows how are they gonna resolve all those i want to see if rob is smiling now. Yeah. Knows Hi, Rob. Is what we're saying correct, I, Rob? I know it's your I, lights I, are green up. now, uh, Rob. I, you know, I look. I think, I think they know. As we've talked about, they have a lot of catching up and rejiggering to do to make sure uh, that they. I mean, obviously, everybody wants them to make the kind of money their shareholders want them to make the kind of money. Um, and unfortunately, what I think is well, what I think is unfortunate is is obviously Brave New World is a Frankenstein of a movie. Yeah, you know, and and they they've reshot it. Basically, they've reshot that movie three times. And you know, we've heard we heard over the weekend that it's okay, but it's superficial, and it doesn't have the gravitas that say Winter Soldier had, which is what they were going for. So I don't even, and then you've got Thunderbolts, which is another, as we talked about, team film. I just don't think the Marvel Universe has Deadpool and Wolverine's a one-off. I don't think they have the kind of momentum they need to get them back where they were. Even these Avengers movies. Who's who in the, the Avengers? Avengers? Who, I'm who's, saying, yeah, who, uh, the Avengers? Yeah. who are, who who's are the they? Avengers? Right. Yeah. Is it, 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 you got to figure it's Captain America, right? I, I guess. But he's um, not Captain America is not a super soldier, right? right. And I, I like Anthony Mackie a great deal as a performer, but he's not exactly able to take on cosmic threats. Hulk, Hulk is like the only OG, right? Hulk and, and Thor, Thor, maybe was Thor, Thor and depending around, I guess. Thor, yeah. And then you got you got and we, and we literally have a guy with no super serum fighting the Red Hulk. Yeah, his superpower <laughs> is his humanity. Is uh, Dante, did you hear him say that? His superpower is his humanity against the Hulk. I mean, that's nice crazy school. odds, but it's like you're you're going to have to really stretch the imagination to make that work. Like, he's never going to be able to do a physical interaction with the Hulk. It's all distance, you know, attacks and whatnot, because he will die if he's within arm's reach. Yeah, of the Hulk. Yeah. Whether no, but they're saying the that the, the shield can absorb the Hulk's punches, even if you have no super serum whatsoever. Well, the yeah, shield that... can do that, but the person holding the shield can't. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem. It's like you can hold the shield and it hits it, and even though it's vibranium and it stops the. That, stuff, that's why this movie's going to fail, man. Yeah, but when you talk about the Avengers, there's one person you've not mentioned yet, and that's Shang Chi. And uh, <laughs> racist. I'm sorry, I sorry, mean, I think Alan. he will be. Alan, we <laughs> our, our bad, Alan. Hey, Alan feeling a little power, slight over here. On. Well, Yellow yeah. man power. Let's do this. Well, <laughs> if you want to hear here. what I heard about Captain America, is I talked to someone who saw both cuts, right? The bad one and the slightly better one. He said that the action and story is a little better, but it's it's just a straight up action movie. There's no internal like story for Sam Wilson. No emotional mm -hmm. like like no arc. like uh, yeah. arc at all for him at all which is that's what makes these movies good 
So that's yeah. what's missing, uh, apparently. Didn't we see that in the TV show where he went from not wanting to be Captain America to by the end of that TV show embracing it and saying, You need to do better? Like, yeah. he's already had that arc. Yeah. Dude, they, they, they literally have a super soldier in the film, Isaiah Washington, right? They have they have the yeah. they have a super soldier and they have Sam fighting the Hulk. Well, because it's, Isaiah although is a, I do a hear villain, that uh, uh what's his name? Tim Blake Nelson is fantastic as the leader. Yeah. I heard that he's great, but you know, look, I think un- it's a year from now when FF comes out, July. I, I think that's three Marvel movies next year. February, Captain America. Uh, you've got May for Thunderbolts, yeah. July for Fantastic Four. Really? I think FF will be pushed back to November. I just Wait, Thunderbolts and, and Fantastic Four, are that close together? Yes. Yeah. And Fantastic that's Four at, currently has a slate to compete with Superman, James Gunn. Superman. Yeah. No <laughs> sense. Yeah, I think, no yeah, sense. I, I yeah, think that yeah. FF will be pushed back. I do I believe that. Um, but... Uh, so that's we got one movie this year, three next year. But seriously, to my question, how do you resolve or wrap up the Kang thing? Although I script, I like your idea. Um, well, here's the one thing. So they have recast one black actor, and that was Terrence Howard. So I yeah. think if you want to have something meta and fun, bring Terrence Howard in as Kang. <laughs> That'd be great. And, and just kind I of resolve that. him out there. He's already going on the circuit talking about strange math that doesn't actually math. So you actually, know, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> Wait, that would make a lot of sense. You know, ha- yeah. Have some fun with like that. that. Make it a little meta, <laughs> and and have it segue into um, whatever the big bad is going to be. Whether it's going to be Galactus or if it's going to be Doom. It looks like it's going to be Doom because they've already got Avengers Doomsday. So that's your that that seems to be their target. Um, yeah, like that. That's the best way I can really kind of reconcile this. Just because I don't know what their plan is. The only thing I've heard, and, and maybe some of you guys have heard this as well, is that uh, when Disney was over at the cans and they did the film market, they weren't pushing as many titles for pre-sales this year as they were previous years. And that might lean into with why we're only getting, you know, four Marvel movies over the next two years that we know of for sure. And nothing really big on that um, later on. No, no huge face slate or anything of that nature. There's I think five, this is- five, the two Avengers movies. Yeah. The two Avengers movies, um, Thunderbolts, Captain America, and Fantastic Four. So that's that's basically this, the, the end of their, this phase, I, I would assume. Um, so because they're not looking, they're not announcing anything further ahead, they're using this basically as their testing phase, pun intended. Like, this is it. This is where they're going to experiment. Like, we already know the two failures, Thunderbolts and Captain America. And then the other three are up in the air. They And that will give us the direction of where they're going to be headed soon. Uh, as it comes for Kang, I'd basically I would use Kang as a setup. Maybe I would probably tether to Doom has actually captured Kang, used the multiverse technology in order or, and and the time traveling technology in order to do what he wants to do. Maybe that has a, re- a ripple effect, which is how the Fantastic Four get to modern day. I mean, I'm just spitballing here. You could never the- mention him again, and no one would say a goddamn thing. Well, yeah. the thing is, you yeah. could definitely no, I think also. what they're going to do is similar to what. It's similar to how they did the Eternals. Like they just the Eternals are just I, gone. Like yep, what happened yep. to the Eternals? Oh, we got the giant in that's adamantium done. We're finished with the Eternals. We're moving on. I think well, that's exactly. basically how they're going to the treat point. Kang. They'll the be cameo at that best. Yeah. The way you deal with it is Kang who. Kang went back to his home planet. Kang is a descendant look, of Reed Richards. A, so. people, a, a million people watched Loki season one, of which he appeared in the last episode. But that's Barely a point script, Doctor. Ant Man. He's a and descendant. On a mania, no one saw that one. Right. So he just disappears. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just just deal with it after Secret Wars. Who's asking for resolution of the Kang story? No. I mean, nobody. Technically, got it. Season two. Interesting is when they introduce Thanos. I mean, Infinity War is Thanos's movie. Yep. You get his origins, his like motivations. You get to know him. He doesn't just indiscriminately kill. If he doesn't have to kill, he just doesn't. And he has like an honor. I, Thanos is such a great character. I suspect they will do something with Robert Downey Jr. with his Dr. Doom. They will, you will get insight into Doom, his head, and it will be very different than, than, uh, uh, very different than what we're thinking. Also, I heard on FF that, uh, Paul Walter Hauser plays Mole Man. There are other, other characters from the Fantastic Four universe, a lot of them minor characters that are going to be in it. The main villain is Galactus. He is he is the main bad 
in the FF movie. Please tell me we're getting the Yancey Street Gang. We're, yes, I hope the Yancey Street Gang. Well, you I see one so Agatha Harkness. Away from the fact that they've gender swapped the Silver Surfer, because she's... That is the it. one thing the director pushed back on. They made him do it. It's not Dornrad. It's... a. I mean, it's normal. Right? It's permanent. Or is it just for when they're in their universe? I don't. That's that's. I, I'm told that's the one thing with Kang. Yeah, remember, yeah. I know no one watched it. Loki is still in charge of the TVA that everyone held hates, but that means he's in charge of what the sacred timeline is. So we could just yeah. say that Loki is pruning anything that has Kang in it. I, the bullshit I would say. I do think they have rules. to solve it because they set it up. They have to just they put a button on it, they even if it's. Yet. You don't they think don't so? Really I mean, they don't have to, but the thing, this is Marvel. They're going to. They're gonna. They're gonna let it hang there until they come up with an idea where they can actually have it pay off. Because right now they've had the Eternals with that celestial calcified in the middle of the ocean for what three years now. Yeah, now they yeah. realize, oh, now we're gonna make it end up adamantium. So that means Cersei has the ability to transmute into adamantium things into adamantium, the strongest uh, substance ever to exist. Script, have oh. you heard this? That Kang, I thought they were gonna turn Kang into like the Beyonder was ultimately going to be a Kang variant, and that's how they were going to explain it. And oh, that's wow. secret wars. <laughs> yeah, it's all horrible. That's wait, the wait. Point. So are, are they also going to explain the are they gonna explain the fact that this celestial, as huge as it is, right? Almost the size of a planet itself. If that's animantium, what does that mean then? Animantium is not it's not special. Like yeah. everyone in the world's gonna have animantium yeah. because that's how anymore. big that thing is. And no, if it's not a vibranium, you've got to get in it. The, in, the, in the scene I saw from Captain America, they showed Harrison Ford as the president saying they found it, they've mined it, and they have it, and a bunch of nations are after it. Just so, like vibranium. So there's right, so there's right. a limited amount then. It's not just that whole celestial is made out of animantium. Yeah. It's, it's weird perfect, though doing Galactus line. in the first FF movie. Uh, you think they'd save it to like you know? But, I don't think know. they. I think they're they're um, mitigating their risk at this point. They're like we have to do something big for Fantastic Four to work because Fantastic Four is technically failed like three times uh, yes true true yeah and, and the thing it's is never because fantastic four it's not a superhero book it's actually more of a of like a sci-fi soap opera yes because they're right. not really there to go out hunting and fighting supervillains they're doing their own thing and then supervillains are coming after them so they're more reactionary and that's a little bit trickier to do uh for a feature film for that story it works well in comics and in, in novels and to a lesser extent cartoons because our cartoon series have actually been horrible as well but <laughs> but yeah like figuring out the trick to fantastic four like um brad bird did it with the incredibles he figured it out he's like let's just make it a little bit of a spy movie at the same time and here it looks like they're doing a space race gimmick which i think yep. leans into the authenticity of what fantastic four started out at mm -hmm. with with the or power the origin of their powers so uh, hopefully they lean more into that and it's more like a science kooky science 60s um you know gimmick in that in that regard um it's weird they, to change this everyone's pointing out adamantium comes from vibranium and i remember reading that that it was they make adamantium from vibranium in the comics it's weird to separate them now that must be a recent thing because i remember yeah. not remember having that be the case and just kind of piggyback what you said script uh for me uh the perfect the perfect fantastic four movie would be lost in space <laughs> yeah. that's no really that's how you do fantastic oh, four they're lost in space. The negative zone negative the zone. negative zone or the yeah. negative zone i mean yeah. same thing same premise 